So the scripture for today is from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verse 13, and it reads, Because of this, gird up the loins of your mind, be completely awake, and trust in the grace given in the revelation of Jesus Christ. And the meditation is the following. In these words, St. Peter, as if unconsciously, notes three stages into which his whole life is divided. He began his life girding up his loins, that is, he began it as a self-confident young man, convinced that life is not difficult. He was not afraid of anything. He was ready without hesitation to walk across a raging sea. Then a different period began, one of wakefulness. His self-confidence disappeared and life seemed dark to him and the storms of life encompassed him not only to walk over it, but even to swim across the sea seemed already impossible. There was only the desperate cry which burst from his soul when he said, save me, I am perishing to Jesus, as it says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 30. Then there was the third stage, trust in the grace given. Looking at life, he already looked farther to the source of this life. He acquired a new support, the highest one. He began to rely not on himself, but on God. This was the merging of the deepest humility with the highest aspirations. He realized his weakness, but also became convinced that the raging waves would lead him to the quiet harbor which the Lord undoubtedly was preparing for him. And the Lord also leads you in the same way, my soul. At first you see Christ in a peaceful, cloudless radiance. He approaches you without the presence of storms or inclement weather. But the Lord does not leave you in such peace for long. In order to make you humble, he tests you, sending you storms and unrest, and does not immediately stretch out his hand to help you. But this test is good for you. You need it, and it teaches you a great deal. It lets you see the grief of others, which, like a link in a chain, connects you with the great brotherhood of man. Finally, the final reconciliation will come. The Lord will come across the waves. There will be a great silence and you will hear the divine voice. It is I, do not be afraid. As it says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 14, verse 37, then you will receive grace in the revelation of Jesus Christ.